What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the, uh, the great gaming content on this channel and uh, the pretty epic footage. I uh, have really been enjoying The Last of Us Remastered multiplayer. It's it's so good. It's so good. It's like it's like crack, and I've never even done that before. But it's the closest thing I can I can uh, <laughs> liken to cocaine. It's just so good. I can't stop. Can't stop playing it. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some news I was reading today on Gamespot.com about uh, unlocking uh, the ability to run games at 1080p on the Xbox One. Some games have actually been able to do it. Uh, supposedly Destiny on the Xbox One will run at a smooth 1080p uh, 30 frames and uh, initially they were not able to get that resolution and they haven't themselves come out Bungie and said how they are able to do that but other developers haven't been able to and are having major issues with the Xbox One optimizing it to compete against its top competitor the PlayStation 4. Um, is it realistic to think that you, you buy a new console that is actually built from the ground up for gaming and then someone <laughs> unlocks uh, a secret compartment inside the, the, the console and all of a sudden it's so much better. I think these consoles are built for what they can do and, and I think that over time over the, the next three or four years they're probably going to be truly optimized and probably toward the end of the, the console's lifespan you'll see them pressed to the limits but I think that what we get now is, is a pretty good symbol or a sign of what these things are capable of down the line. It's obvious that it's easier for developers uh, to create, uh, you know, more optimized experiences on the PlayStation 4 because of the GPU and the RAM. Uh, it's just it has faster RAM. Uh, it doesn't have that S RAM, and it has, you know, a, a faster RAM. It has the exact same amount of RAM and faster RAM and a faster GPU. So it's going to be easier, and it has PC infrastructure, so everybody knows how to to optimize for it. Uh, the Xbox One is very similar as far as uh, you know the way that it's been built but they have compartmentalized different aspects of the processing power and now they're trying to break down those walls and barriers and merge them together and I think that that is just kinda unrealistic uh, I don't think that there is some magic key or code that you can put in that'll make the Xbox One turn into a PlayStation 4 to me it just it won't ever happen I think the, the Xbox One will definitely be more powerful one day than it is now but I don't think that seeing a huge gap in power is a realistic look at what the Xbox is actually going to do. I think the Xbox One will probably be successful on the games. It has a lot of great games, but if you try to go head to head with the PlayStation 4 as far as power, as far as processing, and as far as the, the graphical fidelity and, and frame rate, I think you're always going to come up a little short in the Xbox One because the simple fact of the matter is the PlayStation 4 is more powerful and it's easy to develop for. This article, guys, is on GameSpot.com. There will be a link in the description. And I don't want to sound like I'm a fanboy. I, I just try to be as realistic as possible. Usually if you own a console, you ha you like that console. And, and the, right now, there isn't anything on the Xbox One that really piques my interest. I'm sure there will be plenty of games in the future that will. But right now, I'm not really smitten with the experience. So I'm, I'm a PlayStation guy. And I feel like this news is worthy of you guys' attention. Xbox One 1080p obstacle not solved by DirectX 12, which a developer says. This year's upgrade to Microsoft's DirectX API will not make it easier for developers to run games at 1080p resolution on the Xbox One, according to CD Projekt Red. When the next iteration of Microsoft Direct DirectX software was unveiled at GDC in March, the company promised that it would bring richer scenes, more objects, and full utilization of modern GPU hardware for future games on Microsoft platforms. But according to one game developer, this upgraded API will not improve the ability to render games at 1080p on the Xbox One. CD Projekt Red, developer of the upcoming RPG The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, stated in an interview with Gaming Bolt that DirectX 12 would not make it easier to run games at higher resolutions. Lead Engine programmer Balas Torak explained, most games out there can't go 1080p because the additional load on the shading units would be too much. For all those games, DirectX 12 is not going to change anything. Turok said that games might technically be able to run at 1080p, but it won't matter because the resource cost of shading those extra pixels would be too high. They might be able to push more triangles to the GPU, but they are not going to be able to shade them, which defeats the purpose, he said.
Since the console's launch last November, there's been controversy surrounding the apparent difficulties developers have when attempting to get their games running at 1080p. June's update to the Xbox One software development kit, different than DirectX, opened up an additional 10% processing power for developers to use, which has helped some games like Destiny reach 1080p on the console. And so hypothetically Destiny will be running at 1080p on the Xbox One, the beta did not run at 1080p. Uh, whether or not they're able to do that, only time will tell. We got just over a month until uh, the release of Destiny on the Xbox One. And uh, we'll see then if they're actually able to optimize it. They got a month to get it from 720 to 1080p. Let's see if they can do it. Other developers are having issues, obviously, uh, getting it to run at 1080p uh, on the Xbox One. And they're having a lot more success with the PS4. Now, before the fanboyism begins, people say, you know, Beastly, you just talk that shit because you, you're a PlayStation 4 gamer. I am a PS4 gamer. I, I like the PS4. It, and all multi-plats are better on the PS4. I mean, it's just a realistic look at things. I'm not an Xbox One owner yet. Uh, I'm, so when I do own my Xbox One, I'll probably be a little uh, less biased when it comes to which system I like the most. But right now, I like the one that performs the best. But when it comes to developers, especially a developer like CD Projekt Red, who's developing a great game that's going to be on multi-platforms, they have no reason in the world to say something bad about a platform that they're actually releasing on. They're just telling the truth. They're speaking the truth. Uh, they're having problems with the Xbox One, uh, getting it up to 1080p. They don't have the resources inside that console to do the same thing that they're doing with the PlayStation 4. That's just obvious. They're not being a fanboy. They have no reason to be a fanboy. They're making money off the Xbox One. Xbox One is making money off of their game. So they're just telling the truth and they're being totally honest about it. It's not like uh, it's a Sony owned developer talking crap about the, the Microsoft Xbox One. This is a CD Projekt Red who's been in the video game industry creating games for a long time. And so they know video game infrastructure, they know video game hardware, and uh, they're not going to just make something like this up. I want to hear from you guys. I want you guys to sound off in the comment section below. Do you think that DirectX 12 will improve the uh, the uh, processing power or the uh, give the Xbox One the ability to play games at 1080p, uh, run them at 60 frames per second? I don't know exactly how this is going to work or how it's going to affect it. I'm at this point very skeptical of what I hear uh, you know, c companies say that their consoles are actually capable of doing uh, because we've been lied to before and we see it, it's right in front of you. You, you I mean, how can you not believe your eyes? When you see every game coming out not being as good as it is on the competitor, it kind of puts you in the mind state of maybe this isn't as powerful as the competitor. You guys leave your comments in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this beast mode footage of me kicking ass in The Last of Us. If you're new to the channel, Hit the subscribe button and join my team. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.